Oh, wow, some lovely coconut there. Coconut water. And then I'm going to crack this open and get that lovely coconut inside. Listen to that. It's warm in the UK at the moment, which is really great. Can't be a nice bit of coconut water to cool you down. Lovely. Mm. Mm. I'm not here to talk to you about coconut water and coconuts. I'm here to talk to you Tesla fans. You Tesla fan boys and girls that want to see what I've got in this box. This is the box, Tesla fans. Direct from you know where, China. As we know, everything comes from China nowadays, even all our Tesla stuff. But yes, this is the box. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a quick look inside and see what it is. Maybe you can guess. It's quite a large box, so it's got to be something big. Let's have a look inside. Right, I've already done the sellotape. Opened it up. So that's it there. Let's have a look and see what's inside. I'm going to open up the first one and take it out so you can see. So you can see what it is. And that's what it is. It's wheel covers for my 19 inch wheels. I've already got some on there, but you know what? I fancied a change. So I decided to get another set. And this is it. A lovely set of wheel covers for my Tesla Gemini wheels. So I'm sure you can't see what it looks like. And I'm sure you're going to be quite surprised because this one is quite a rare one. Lucky I saw it. And when I looked again, they don't do it anymore. Maybe someone else on AliExpress does it. But hey, I got it from a company that doesn't do it anymore. So let's have a look inside and see what it looks like. Wow. There it is. Gloss Gemini wheels in black. As we know, Geminis are all in sort of a greyish, silvery colour. But I decided to get it in gloss black to match my car. Because my car is a black Tesla Model Y. And yep, it's very glossy and it looks wonderful when it's all buffed up, washed, buffed up. And this will complement that wonderfully. Look at that. Look at that glossy reflective wheel cover there. That's great. So that's the wheel cover there. And these are the foam inserts that I will be putting on. But to be quite honest with you, I'm not too bothered. That's the whole point of getting the wheel covers to cover up any blemishes that you've got along the way. And uh, yes, I'm not really too bothered, but I'm going to put it on anyway. And this is what this is for, is to put it around the edging here to obviously stop it scratching the edge of your wheels. But hey, that's that done. Let's put this all away. Get outside and have a look how to install it. Let's crack on. Let's do this. Yeah. everybody these are my wheel covers that I've got on there currently what do you reckon they look really nice don't they let's have a look here look at that they look really really nice I do like them there's only one problem that I didn't like and that's when I want to pump the tires up I had a bit of a problem and the problem pumping the tires up is getting in to the valve that was my problem. Trying to get in this valve was an absolute nightmare because there's really no finger room to get in there and twist it. 
twist it out. So I'm, I'll be spending all bloody day trying to screw this damn thing out. Wasn't a quick job. Definitely wasn't a quick job getting the tire valve off. Yeah, so, but as far as the look, it looks really nice. Looks different. Looks really, really different. When you look here like that, it's got a nice look to it. You guys are going to be able to tell me later on, hopefully, what it looks like, the new wheel covers compared to the old. So, yeah, guys, I think the first thing we'll do, we'll take the wheel cover off. And have a look and see what it looks like underneath and uh yeah i think that's the first thing we'll do okay let's crack on so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna take it from here grab one of these things and just pull it oh god it's hard isn't it oh that's it <laughs> wow you gotta put some strength in it yeah and just pop them off so all you're gonna do really is just pop it off all the way around oh that came off quite easy didn't it that was good that wasn't too bad that came off quite easy after the first initial pop it was uh, much much easier oh that's what it looks like from the other side so as you can see here i don't know if you can see it that's the sort of like the uh foam that i've put on this one before so i'm gonna have to do that to the other one and just put the foam around here but yeah that's it that's one off so yeah let's crack on and get the others off oh i'm not going to do all of them i'm just going to do two just so that you can have a look and see what it looks like from one side of the car because one side looks the same as the other side so yep that's it i'm not going to waste your time looking at four wheels but i'm going to waste your time looking at two okay let's crack on but what I think I'm going to do first, these wheels look a bit manky. It looked good from the outside. As you can see, I've blackened the walls and the wheel trims. The wheel covers were nice and clean. But the inside's a bit, bit dirty. So I'm going to give it a nice little clean. box let's get the one out of the box that's got the foam inserts in it because obviously this is what I'm going to be putting one on here let's get let's get one of the wheel trims oh god just my luck a bit noisy today I've got a neighbor putting in some wall insulation and they're talking away there so hey don't worry about the background noise. That's just part of living on a street, eh? So let's get one of these out. There's four wheels, obviously. But let's just get one out. And what I'm going to do is obviously get the tape off. Get the sticky bit off. And then just stick it around here like this. So, and that's it really I'm just going to go around and I don't want to stretch it I just want to place it there because if I stretch it obviously it's going to get longer than what it was when it was first there because I've stretched it out so I'm just going to literally just plonk it down and go all the way around and uh, I'll do one for you and 
obviously speed it up because I don't want you watching me going around in a circle yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna speed it up until I get to the end to the end and I'm just gonna break it off here like that and that is it that is all done look at that so that's protection all around here all around here to protect that part from hitting the I'm gonna keep this bit just in case the rest of them are a bit short. I'm sure they're all the same length, but hey, you never know. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this foam bit off here, chuck that away, and then I'm going to plonk it on. So this is it. So all I'm going to do is line it up with that tyre pressure valve and get it kind of... get those clips lined up with all the clips that are obviously on the wheel itself make sure that they're all lined up and then I'm just going to give it a slight tap just give it a slight tap and just go oh that was so easy that was so oh god that was so easy look at that guys what do you reckon of that does it look better does it look worse I'll let you decide. Comments, obviously. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the other one on and I'm going to show you both of them together. The one I had before and the new version. Let's have a look. So that's it. How does that look there? Let's get a side profile. Let's get a side profile of it there. That's the older one. The older one does look quite nice, I must admit. Looks different. This kind of looks Tesla-esque in the sense that most Teslas have got this style. But the gloss kind of breaks it up a bit and makes it look a bit different. Let's go over to the other one. Yeah, it does look nice, doesn't it? It does look nice. But then you look at this one and that looks nice as well because of that gloss look at that gloss it looks absolutely wonderful what do you reckon of the gloss yep it does look good with the glossy black tesla model y shining away and you've got the gloss shining black wheels wheel wheel covers these are matte if this was gloss this would look really nice as well if this was a glossy version so that's one done that's one one wheel done it looks quite nice to be quite honest with you i think when i put both of them on they're gonna look really good that matte and that's gloss okay guys let's get the other one on and you know what I was complaining about with before, which was getting this tire pressure valve off. It's so easy now, look at this. I just twist it. I couldn't do that before. It was so difficult. I'm so glad I changed it now. I'd hate to have broken down something with a puncher and I couldn't take that valve off. I'd be struggling. Now it's so easy. Oh God, great stuff. That's good. There it is guys, all done. What do you reckon? Have a look at that. Let's have a look at it from the front. There it is, what do you reckon of that? Does it look better? Does it look worse? I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It gives it a nice stealth look there. All black, beautiful gloss. Black Model Y. I've actually had it wrapped as well not wrapped but wrapped with a clear coat protection PPF and uh, yeah 
it's great look at that it really looks nice gives it a nice stealthy look wow what do you reckon i like it it looks really really nice if you want to get some i'll put some links in the description whatever i can find on aliexpress links in the description if you'd like to get these wheel trims or any other ones that can enhance your gemini wheels all right so i'm gonna head on out and uh, yeah wash up well not wash up yet i've got to do the other side do the other side then wash up and relax so yes guys hope you like that beautiful beautiful wheel covers great looking catch you guys later anyway this is just on a side note have a look at this you know everything nowadays is rings 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 the samson smart rings coming out there's other smart rings and guess what there's a tesla ring look at this with my filthy hands oh god they're awful but hey i should have wore gloves but rubber gloves ain't gonna do anything they're gonna rip up anyway so i just gotta wash my hands but hey this is a tesla ring it's got a smart chip in there the same that you get in the tesla key card and uh, but i've decided to put it on a ceramic ring great stuff anytime i go anywhere i'll just chuck this on and uh, yep don't need my key card plus i use my phone obviously as you know oh my hands are absolutely awful but hey <laughs> but let's show you how it works all you've got to do is just tap it oh <laughs> tap it in the right spot obviously ah, that's it just tap it and that's it doors open wing mirrors open great stuff I love the new software what they've done look at that looks really really nice the music's going to come on soon i better turn it down don't want to get any copyright strike but yeah that's the new update that i just got uh i think it was monday look at that it looks really really nice but hey i'm not here to talk about this let someone else do that but yep that's it that is the tesla ring again i'll leave links in the description if you want it great stuff just chuck it on your finger just make sure you get the right finger size and uh, yeah off you go it's always with you you just tap it and that's it off you go great stuff catch you guys later